Come on, rush, rush, rush. That's pretty interesting. Oh, here we go. This is my favorite combo. Yeah. Because it takes his sunglasses off. Oh, I see. So she's friends with this character, huh? We're going to see whether King of Fighters 14 is more fun. Hello, and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. I'm going to unbox King of Fighters 14 today, and this book that comes with it, it's an art book. I didn't even know I was going to get that. I've got a download code for a premium theme, but today's video, the reason I'm making it is because I went out and bought this. Now, this is an arcade stick, which makes it kind of more like the arcade fighting experience, and I'll unbox it while I'm talking. I actually didn't enjoy King of Fighters 14, the demo. And so I told myself I'm not going to buy it. And then I played it in an actual store where there was an arcade stick and I really, really enjoyed the gameplay. Maybe the reason I didn't enjoy King of Fighters 14, oh, I've unboxed it by the way. The reason I didn't enjoy King of Fighters 14, well, maybe it's because I didn't have an arcade stick. I was playing with the controller. Here we're going to test my theory. Do I actually like King of Fighters 14 now that I have an arcade stick, even though it's a mini one? It looks nice. It's got fairly clicky buttons. Let's open this. I got the download theme, which I'll show you in a moment, but I also get a download code for original, original Kaio, I like to call him. When I originally played this game as a kid, I called him Kaio. Over 50, there's 50 playable characters in this version of King of Fighters 14. This is the disc for King of Fighters 14. Classic Kyo costume. I get the original school uniform version of this main character for King of Fighters. Let's open up the art book, and this is what you can expect to see on the inside. Hey, it's actually, whoa. Hey, this is really nice. It's got 3D and it's got 2D. Terry Bogard, all your favorites are in this game. I'm going to download the theme, I'm going to put the game inside, I'm going to connect my arcade stick, and we're going to see whether King of Fighters 14 is more fun with an arcade stick. All right, I finally got it all set up. This is the theme that I got with it, I think. This is the one it comes with because I bought it at Yodobashi Camera. But this is King of Fighters 14. I apparently don't have access to anything except for training and tutorial. Don't tell me it's like still in the process of downloading data. Oh, okay. So I am using the ex the controller. You can see it is so much more fun with the controller. Absolutely. All right, I've finally waited for the installation to happen and it is now installed so we can actually play the real game. So what characters do we want to try because I guess using Kyo is an obvious one, but the one character that I really wanted to try that I couldn't use in the demo was K. So let's have K. I definitely want to try Nakaruru. And let's have one new character. This one is bound to be bound to be a favorite. K first, Nakaruru and Mui Mui. After playing a bit of the tutorials and with the training mode, honestly, this character this arcade stick makes all the difference. So much more fun. Because I actually feel like I'm playing King of Fighters again. Alright, let's see. Can I get a perfect on this? No. And I think the other reason I went out and bought this today is that I, I played King of Fighters 99 on the, the emulated version, the, the PS2 archives version on my PS4. Or well, PS3 on my PS3, and I really enjoyed it. Oh, what a waste! Oh no, I, got, I didn't get perfect. Alright, let's try this rush thing. Come on, rush, rush, rush! That's pretty interesting. So if I just mash the light punch button like this, let's just do it again. What? It doesn't work anymore. Why doesn't it work when I want it to work? This is so embarrassing. You won't... I, I don't understand when you can rush and when you can't. Maybe you have like an extra gauge for that or something, or maybe I'm just doing it too quickly. I should try some super combos as well. Let's see how they go. Honestly, I, I didn't like the graphics before, but I'm, I'm very much more used to them now. Again, this is all after I played it in a, in a video game store the other day, and I just, I don't know what it was about it. Here we go! This is my favorite combo. Yeah! Because it takes the sunglasses off. If you're not familiar with King of Fighters, this is a really good opportunity to get into it. I like, I like the graphics on her moves. Again, the thing that lets this game down the most is the character animation, but if you can get past that, some of the fire effects and stuff are pretty, pretty nice, actually. The characters we're fighting in this first battle are pretty classic if you've played King of Fighters for the past 15 years or so. Let's... Oh, I got really lucky there. Oh, okay. I do have the fireball. I don't know why it didn't work for her. I want to beat her with a super combo. Sadly. Sadly beat them by accident. Here's how I feel. I enjoy it way more with the arcade stick. 
absolutely, that is, a, that is absolutely undisputable. Oh, I've chosen the newest character first. Maybe they should release an update where they actually update the character models. I don't think they're going to, especially because that would that might muck up the arcade version of the game. Whoa, look at her outfit. Not my girl, the the angel character, who I have used before. And I think I actually learned a lot of her moves, actually, comes to think of it. So what kind of character is Mui Mui? Is she a charge character? No. Oh, she's got a Hadoken move. I call them Hadoken. When I say down forward, I always say Hadoken, just because that's how you do the move. Because I, I came from a Street Fighter background before I ever played King of Fighters. I'm gonna try rushing. Doesn't work. Oh, here we go. As long as you're close enough to the enemy, I think that's what matters. It's the... No, this guy was in the demo and I didn't understand how to use him, so I will be glad for someone to explain to me how to how to use this character. I feel like I should check out the command list actually in a moment. Ooh! I did it. Whoa, she's got a... She's got a... She turns into Dragon Ball for a minute. Very nice. In King of Fighters, if you press down before you jump, you usually jump higher than normal, but you, there's usually like a really cool animation for it. And in this game, there's just no animation. You just literally jump a bit higher. That's lame. Ooh, I like that move. Very Chun-Li. So how did I do that cool Chun-Li move? Was it a sure you can? Yeah, it's a sure you can with the kick, isn't it? Ouch. You do feel a little more impact with some of the moves, actually, like the, especially the grabs, because in 3D games, I feel like the grabs have always looked a little bit better. It's just moves like this, that would have been probably better in the 2D version of the game. And I win with my new favorite move. This arcade stick has has changed my life. This time, I have Nakuru first. Nakuru looks awful. This is like, so sad. She has got her moves though. How do I... She doesn't travel as far as she used to with this move. Or maybe it's just because the game's widescreen nowadays that I... Because <laughs> I'm used to playing all the games in the 4x3, not widescreen mode. Does she have that move where she flies into the... The bird. Yes! This is what we're all about. Oh no, <laughs> I don't know any moves after that. All I know is how to... How to jump onto the bird. Press down and punch and down and kick. Okay, got it. I can get up here and I press down. Ah, okay, okay. And then she does those moves. I want her to use her blade though. Yeah, that's much better. So you go up here with down back punch, and then you press down and down and punch. Oh, sorry, down back kick to go up, down and punch, and then you do this wicked move. All right, that's brilliant. Oh, Leona looks terrible. That's so sad. The graphics are just dreadful. Oh, here we go. I got it. That took a few tries. Those wings look awful. This super combo. Okay. The end was better than the rest of it, but I was mostly, for the most part, disappointed by, like, wearing the bird's wings. That looked really lame. But if you could look past it and just get into pure gameplay, which is really where I think King of Fighters shines anyway, you'll enjoy it. Like, these moves are fun. This is like the new version of Chun-Li, which makes this really really enjoyable as a, ca as a character experience. Graphically though, I'm just crying inside. Oh man, he, he just looks so awful. <laughs> Loving the meatballs. Hey meatball head. Name that anime and you get bonus points. Well if you couldn't guess it was Sailor Moon. Okay, let's see. The battle has got more difficult as a result of being on a further battle. Oh! Oh! That was interesting. Didn't see that coming. Oh, I used my super combo by accident. Didn't mean, didn't mean to do that. The other thing about Rush, which is frustrating, is that if you do happen to do a lot of moves where you press the punch button many times in a row, you may accidentally use a gauge because if you have a power gauge, it will use it, even if you don't want to use it. So that's frustrating. Robert, no! How could you do this? Why? Come on, do the move, do the move, Mui Mui. Oh no, this is awful. She's gonna die. No, no, no. I'm so sorry. I was gonna show you the super combo with her, but I couldn't get it before I died. Let's do a super combo, shall we? Yes! Yes! Nice! Ooh. Oh, that was, my, that was my opportunity, but I'm not used to this controller. Very frustrating. Go! Yes! Impressive. 
Impressive! You win. My hands are starting to hurt, by the way, because I'm not used to the controller. I think I may be pressing the buttons a little bit too hard, which is ruining my ability to actually do certain moves. I'm using my middle finger, which doesn't get used for anything, so it's like using a finger that I, I didn't even remember I had. Oh no, 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 no. Come on, yes. Go, yes! Oh no, I thought I had the second... I thought I did the level 2 version of that, but I apparently didn't. Oh, I have a new move? What's this? Hold on a second, I really tried that. Okay, I couldn't try it, but it's down forward punch to do the first flame, and then if you press forward and punch again, looks like there's another move hidden inside. Oh, I see, so she's friends with this character, huh? This is quite cool that they still do this, because in the original King of Fighters games, if you had two characters that actually knew each other, they would interact, which is cool. Appreciate that. Oh no! Let's show you can you into the air! Oh no, 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 no. Hey! Kenso is doing great! I want to use him in a future battle. But first, we need to test out this super combo with Mui Mui, which has taken me a long time to try. Oh no, I'm never gonna be a Athena. Oh no, 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 see, I've, I've done the same thing. Oh, good, it was a, a lame combo. Oh no, 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 hold on. Let's double check the, the move. Oh, I got it, I got it. Oh, was that it? Oh, that's really disappointing. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be more exciting than that. I apologize. Serves her right for being lame. Not my favorite character anymore. Well, actually, she never was, but now she really is not my favorite character. I feel like there are some moves that are just harder from the right side if you have an arcade stick. Let's try my epic super combo. She missed! Lame! But ended with an epic KO. Get a really good angle at the end of that battle as well. I just don't know how to use an arcade stick anymore and my fingers end up in a lot of pain. Yeah, that was my new... That's... Ooh! That's interesting. I have different moves depending on how strong they are as well. That's interesting. Let's see if I can finish you. Oh! No? Take this! Yeah. So for sure the animations on the faces are a little bit disappointing. But it, maybe it's... It, I feel like that's all it is really. It's the faces that are ruining it for the rest of the character. Like, if there's anything you need to get right, it's the face. And wow, this character, Kula, is destroying me. Oh no, she blocked my super combo. No! Kula is an awesome character. And I am losing. Oh no, I'm doing okay. Yeah, I'm losing. Hold on. It does not help that I haven't used an arcade stick for so long. <laughs> oh, but I may get lucky. Got lucky. Good. That was hot. Oh, me versus myself. Let's see if I can prove that I'm the better K. Now, what's the story with K? Is he a, a clone of or a kill or what? I'm not even. Someone reminds me of the story. If you remember? Apparently I'm better at doing the super combos than fake K. Music has not been striking me as much, I mean... It does remind me of a King of Fighters game, but it doesn't have that awesome rock edge to it that King of Fighters used to have. It just doesn't sound like King of Fighters anymore, which is a shame. They should bring back his, his original costume from King of Fighters 99. That was amazing. Let's comment about the backgrounds, because they are 3D, and definitely now that the characters are 3D, they blend in better. In previous versions of King of Fighters, they had 3D backgrounds, so the characters were 2D, and it always looked a bit weird, like it didn't, like they didn't really fit into the backgrounds, which is again why I pre prefer if they had just stuck with the 2D backgrounds. But now that the three, now that the characters are also 3D, it all looks like it makes sense now, which is good. Ooh, let's. See. Oh, I have a new super combo that I was not even aware of. Let's, let's try it again. Ah, it's cool, but look how smooth it is. Smooth in a slow way. That's a shame. Oh, I uh, got blocked. Yes! 
Okay, so I actually have no idea how much longer this is going to take to get to the end of it and I don't really have enough time right now because it's pretty late at night and I just wanted to test out my arcade stick and here I'm going to end the video with my thoughts and opinions. King of Fighters 99? Sorry? No? King of Fighters 14? It feels like 99 because I'm using K. I really am much happier now that I've got this arcade stick. When I played this game with the controller, all I could think about was the fact that the game didn't look that good, and it wasn't really fun to play. And I think that's because the controls are so intricate in King of Fighters that if you don't use an arcade stick like this, there's not a lot of meaning to it. That's not to say, I mean, you can still enjoy the game <clears throat> with a controller, but for me, I feel like the King of Fighters experience really does come with one of these. So, if you can afford to get yourself one of these, I got the cheapest one I could find actually. This is about $40 here in Japan. I don't know how much it is out in the West. But if you were worried about King of Fighters 14 not being good because it didn't quite make the transition to 3D that well, don't worry. All the gameplay is there. And there are some new things that do make the gameplay flow a bit better. That rush system is actually quite fun. It's nice, like, if you just have a new character you don't know how to use, at least you have a combo that you can get in there with, and you know that it will end with a super combo. Stuff like that. There are 50 characters in here, which obviously I can't go through right now. I just wanted to get the gist of the gameplay, and I've really enjoyed it. And I want to say, 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 I want to say, I want to say thanks to you for sticking with me and seeing whether I enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed it a lot more with the controller. So there it is. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, do subscribe. If you have something you'd like to say, put it in the comments section. If you liked the video or if you didn't like the video, hit one of the like buttons and that would be great for me. And I will see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video. It's the game you backed on Kickstarter but was delayed for a really long time. And finally it's here, but the question is, is it better than nothing? All right, time to try out Mighty Number no. 9. Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. Destroy all the enemies. Bosh. Bosh. Yeah, you're going down. Oh. Suddenly he turns into a Maho Shoujo. <laughs>